In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight for practice exam number three for math 1030, in which case we have to determine who's the winner of this election using the IRV method, instant runoff voting, or sometimes called ranked choice voting or plurality with elimination. So we look for a majority candidate if there is one. So the first thing we have to do is actually determine how many votes are in this election here. So if you add those numbers together, 25 plus 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 10, uh, that gives you 95. Okay, so if we cut that in half, um, we're looking for 47 and a half. So the quota to be the winner um, is 48 votes. Okay, so if you look at things here, um, A has 25, B has 20, C has 10, D has 40 votes. That's close, but not close enough to the quota. So there is no winner so far. So we're going to remove the player with the least number of first place votes, which would be player C. So player C is going to be the fourth place uh, winner here. So they come in dead last. So then in this situation, player one would then get these preferred votes here. So as we recalculate, um, A gains 10 votes, so 10, A now has 35 votes. That's still not enough. So we have to remove the next candidate, um, which the next fewest candidate with first place votes would be player B, who only has 20. So player B would be in third place at that point. Um, C was also removed, so they're not going to be considered. Uh, so then if you look at D, because D still has 40 votes total there. Um, A, on the other hand, you get 25 plus 20, uh, which is 45 plus 10 is 55, so that is then larger than the quota, and that was then who our winner is going to be. So second place would go to D, but first place would be A, and the only one we care about is the winner, so the correct answer to this one would be A. Um, candidate A is the winner of the election.